Hi Tarts! So for today, I'm going to show to you how to make these money pull-out cakes. So of course, the first step is to prepare our money or bills. So as you can see, I am just putting every bill inside a plastic transparent. It's actually for bonbons or candies that I bought from um, Amazon. And when everything is done, we're just going to close it with a scotch tape and secure that the money is inside the plastic wrap. And the next thing to do is to attach it one by one. So make sure that you have attached it in both sides so that, you know, it will not detach when you are pulling it. Make sure as well that all the wheels are facing all the same side so it is more presentable. Another thing that you have to bear in mind is to make sure that there is no air trap inside the plastic. As you can see, I am trying to take off all the air as possible so that when we roll the money, it will not take so much space as well. And now when everything is attached, all you have to do is roll the money. I've started rolling with the small wheel and you will see the explanation of that later on. You have to roll it right away once you have finished to attach it so that the money can hold the shape already. So since here in France, using of a plastic straw is not allowed anymore, I'm going to show you how to make this DIY insert using of course the plastic film or the carton inside the plastic film. Tap the carton with the right length of the bill. You will see that the hole in this uh, carton is really too big. So what we have to do is actually cut it in between and try to make the hole of this carton a little bit smaller. And with the use of the scotch tape, we can uh, secure the size of the hole. Of course, you can adjust it on how big you want it. So just try to make all the carton with scotch tape so that it will not move anymore and it is double secured. So this is the size that I am looking for now. It's time to attach the bills. So as you can see, this is the reason why I have started with the small bills earlier. And now I am starting with the big bills to roll on my DIY carton insert. Once you started rolling, make it sure that it is very tight and there is no air so that it will not occupy so much space. And since our bills is ready, it's now time to prepare our cake. I am using here a chocolate moist cake with 20 cm in diameter. Then add in this chocolate buttercream. And for the second layer of the cake, as you can see, I have already emptied the center. And now we're going to cut it more, of course, following the size of the bills. Make sure that it's not, not too big nor too small. Before adding our second layer cake, we have put enough chocolate buttercream. So as you can see here, I'm trying to fill it or cover it with moist chocolate cake so that the money won't gonna be messy with the chocolate buttercream. We're going to put another layer of chocolate buttercream and of course the last chocolate cake. And now I'm doing a crumb coat with chocolate buttercream and then we're going to put it inside the wrap to set. And now it's time to hollow the last layer of the cake of course 
following the size of our money. This is the good thing of hollowing the second layer of the cake so that when you have reached the third or the last layer, it is really much easier to take off that center. And now I am actually trying to put some buttercream on it. But of course, make sure that you are following the size of the bills. So cut if you must and try to make it neatly like a box. And once you have reached the final size, I love coating it with dark chocolate ganache so that when it's cold or has been set, it actually helps not to get the money or the bills too messy by sticking with the buttercream. So if you don't do this, it's fine. But actually, if you do this, you will have much more cleaner money cake when you have pulled it out from the cake. And when everything is cold, we are now ready to assemble this money cake. And what you have to do is cut a barbecue stick or a stick that with the same leg of the cake and then poke it into your cake, reaching the other side and making sure that it is inside the inserts or the hole of our insert. And finally, don't hesitate to try to pull the money into your cake. And if it's all good, put back a layer of a cake into the hollow in the center. And it's time to cover it with buttercream. The decoration of this cake is very simple. As you can see, we're just covering it with vanilla buttercream and then top with a lot of flowers with color gray theme. After reaching that sharp edge and very neat buttercream coating, now it's time to do the decorations. And we have here an acrylic happy birthday that I bought from Amazon and it's actually the one that we are going to attach with our plastic of money cake or the money cake. So before we secured it with scotch tape, make sure that you have tried where exactly you want to attach it. So as you can see, upon reaching the center, I have put here some scotch tape just to secure it. And don't hesitate as well to add more scotch tape so that when they pull it out, it will not detach on the plastic.
And for the decoration, I have just piped here some flowers, of course, with the theme of color gray as the client's request. Using these flowers, of course, we're just going to try to hide that plastic that is visible outside and just make the decorations. After adding the floral buttercream, I'm just putting here some gum paste, of course, an edible small gum paste rose just to fill in the gaps between the flowers. And adding more effects onto our cake by adding some edible glitters. And there you have it, sweetheart. A very elegant, simple butter cream floral cake, of course, with a surprise inside, a money pull-out cake. I really hope that you have learned something from this video, sweetheart, and I'm looking forward to see you on my next sweet adventure. Once again, thank you for watching. See you around!